Okay, welcome. So tonight I'm going to make uh, chicken sausage and peppers, and I'm going to cook it in uh, some curry tonight, along with some onion. So I've already started just to uh, stir fry some onion. So uh, I first start with some of this uh, extra virgin olive oil. I'm not sure exactly what an extra virgin is as compared to a virgin, but I know this stuff tastes good. So put some uh, extra virgin olive oil in there and some uh, onion. And the one I use is the sweet onion. I believe they call it a sweet Maui onion. Um, it's not the red onion and it's not the regular yellow onion. And now I'm just going to toss the uh, sausages in there as well. These are chicken sausages and the ones that I use are, it says, sweet chicken Italian sausage, uncooked. And it's from uh, Trader Joe's. So, okay, so I'm just going to uh, stir those in a bit and I want to get the sausages a little bit brown before I add any water or any uh, coconut milk or anything else because once you add the water and the coconut milk, they'll cook, but they're not really going to get brown. So, Now, I put a huge onion here. You definitely don't have to put uh, this much in. I just happened to see a, a nice big one there, and I thought it looked good, and, you know, what am I going to do with half an onion, right? So I used the whole onion. And I'm just going to cover it for a minute there. I have it on... Uh, medium heat right now. So the other things that uh, you need is one, I'm going to put these uh, red peppers which I've already chopped up in there. It's just ordinary uh, red pepper and then I'm going to use some curry. So the particular one I'm using is this uh, Vermont curry and it comes in a little block. It looks almost like chocolate and this is uh, actually half the pack so you just uh, break that up and put it in later on and of course you need your olive oil and uh, some uh, coconut uh, milk. I use this coconut cream. Uh, you can use the light, uh, the light ones if you like. I just happen to like uh, the regular coconut cream. Okay, so let me pull this lid off one sec here. Wow, I really put a lot of onion in here. But it was just a really nice big onion, looked really good in the store. So I was like, oh yeah, I want that one. Okay, I'm gonna just put the camera down for a minute while I go get um, just some water. Because in a minute I'm gonna add some water to this. So there's two cups right there, and I'm going to add another uh, one and a half cups of water. So total of three and a half cups of water. And now I'm going to just turn it up so that I kind of bring it to a boil a little bit. Um, I have a deeper pan that I use sometimes. I have this, uh, this pan over here, but it's just harder to clean, so I've been using this uh, smaller pan. Not as deep, but um, it cleans up really quickly. So I just turned it up, and I'm going to let it um, boil a little bit. And then in a few minutes, I'm going to add um, the peppers, and I'm going to add uh, the curry and the uh, coconut cream. So the coconut cream basically will have the effect of um, kind of uh, toning down the curry a little bit. So the curry that I'm using, as I said before, is this Vermont, but I'm also using the hot curry. So if you don't like too spicy, you can buy mild or medium, but I'm also going to add a little bit of the uh, coconut cream to it as well. Um... I tend to cook a lot with curry. Sometimes I'll make like a shrimp and a green curry, add some pineapples to it, or I'll do a chicken breast and do exactly what I'm uh, doing here today. But um, 
price of chicken breast has gone way up. I've noticed in the stores sometimes just a regular pack of chicken breast is like ten or eleven dollars. So you get two of those, it's like twenty-two dollars just for the chicken. Whereas I got these chicken sausages at Trader Joe's for like four bucks. So I'm gonna just do that tonight. And also, I think it's gonna cook uh, fairly quickly. So the total cooking time for this is generally uh, like ten to twelve minutes. But if you add more sausages, then the cooking time goes up. For those of you that um, saw my last video, the uh, uh, sausages uh, cooked in beer, um, I explained that as well. When I make five sausages, that took about 10 minutes, and then when I added another uh, five sausages, it took like about 14 or 15 minutes. So, so I'm going to add uh, some peppers now. Yeah, let's just add the whole thing. Why not? So in some ways, it would have been better for me to use the deeper pan. Uh, because I'm already kind of almost at the top here. But uh, I'll be able... The only thing I have really left to add is the curry and the coconut cream. So I'll be able to uh, uh, get by with this. I'll just cover it for a little bit. <clears throat> so, if you watched my last video, I talked about how I watch a lot of these uh, Anthony Bourdain uh, cooking videos. And one of the things he says is, essentially what you want to do is you want to use good ingredients and then not screw it up. In other words, how do you ruin food? You ruin food by either undercooking it or, more likely, overcooking it. If you undercook something, you can just put it back on the stove, but if you overcook it, then you're pretty much uh, done. So you got to watch uh, your cooking times. For these sausages, I know that after about 10 minutes, the inside will be done, and I don't have to worry about anything like that. So then it's just a matter, because I'm going to do the curry, of getting the curry right. And that may take a little longer, but in terms of the actual sausages being done, and these are chicken sausages, so I don't have to worry about the problems that you have uh, with pork. If you're using pork, you got to be kind of really careful. So I tend to like these chicken sausages. And one of the things I, I do, as I explained in my last video, is I'll take a dish and then I'll just add things and subtract things and then find what works. Like I'll make. Um, this kind of a dish, but I'll use uh, chicken breast, and then I'll add sliced apple to it, or I'll add pineapple to it, or I'll add coconut milk, and then more coconut milk, or less coconut milk, and just t till you get the right um, proportion that you like. You know, all of us like things that are different, so you know what you like best. So it's starting to um, boil here a little bit. So I'm going to give it another uh, minute or two and then I'm going to add the uh, curry. And the curry does take a while to uh, get to be a little bit thick as you stir it a little bit. Then it starts to get thick. I'm going to turn it down a little bit right now. <clears throat> so these sausages have already been cooking about eight to nine minutes. So at this point, they're probably uh, a minute or two from actually being uh, cooked on the inside. So after that, it's just a matter of getting the curry right. Okay, so I'm going to take, um, once again, I'm using this uh, block of curry that you could actually mistake it for a piece of chocolate. It does really kind of have that look of chocolate to it. And this is what, what it looks like on the other side. So it really does look like a, a chocolate block. And I'm just going to break this up 
and I'm going to add it in. And then just start to stir. Now in my deep pan, it would be much easier to stir it. I've got a really lot of, a lot of stuff in here, so not as easy to stir, but it'll just uh, it'll pay off later because I'll be able to clean up in like probably uh, under a minute. So just want to give you guys a view, close up view of what that's looking like right now. Those sausages are starting to look really really good, and I'm going to just um, stir this a little bit more. So I am at, uh, at medium heat right now. And curry really does take some time to, um, to thicken up. So. Okay, now I'm going to add uh, the coconut milk. I just really happen to like the taste of this. And I'm going to do uh, it's about two thirds of the can there. So let's see. Anyway, the one I'm using, once again, from Trader Joe's, and you think I maybe I'm a shill for Trader Joe's or something, but I'm not. I actually just happen to really like this stuff. Um, incidentally, I heard that there's some store in Vancouver called Pirate Joe's, and they don't have Trader Joe's in um, Vancouver, so what the guy does is, I think he's a Canadian citizen, he has a store over there, but he buys the stuff at Trader Joe's at the Bellingham, Washington store, takes it across the border, supposedly pays the tariff on it, and then uh, resells it, marks it up, and uh, resells it over there in Vancouver. Anyway, they, they caught him doing this because he was buying so much stuff, and they kicked him out of the store, and now he actually has shoppers doing that for him. So he actually has to hire shoppers to go to the Trader Joe's in Bellingham, Washington, and then buy bags and bags of stuff. Uh, it looked like it was mostly, uh, you know, different, like, sauces and things, not stuff that goes bad, not things that need to be refrigerated, like canned goods and things like that, you know, chocolates, whatever, rice, and and then actually uh, go across the border, gets the shoppers to buy it, collects it in a van, and then drives it across the border and pays the tariff. So this uh, is actually starting to look really, really good right now. It's just not thick, but I just love that nice uh, brown color. I think it looks absolutely delicious. Let me just show you one of those sausages now. So I'm going to actually leave this on for a little bit more and stir it for a little bit more. But I think I'm going to end uh, the video here. You guys get the idea. So just stir it and the curry will thicken on you. And then the best thing to do is put it over either a rice or noodles. Something about curry just goes amazingly well with rice and noodles. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.